Let's see what kind of video we can get today. Wes is putting implements on their tractors, clearing up the road. There it goes. Okay, so what I got to do with this patch quick hitch is I need to unlock these, bring these up, and it'll release. So pull that, lift it up, put the key underneath, pull this off, and uh, I always try to put all my implements up off the ground. These are on uh, pallets right now, and uh, I just, I think it's better not to uh, keep your implements on the ground, so that's why I do it. Alright, so it's on the, let me drop the uh, three point. There we go, we're basically unhooked, pull away. So basically what we're doing is uh, I got to take the front end or the bucket off the tractor here. Um, nice thing about these uh, skid steer quick attaches in uh, 1994 when this tractor was uh, purchased brand new. It didn't have they didn't have skid steer quick attaches for tractors and stuff at that time that I know of. But when we got the uh, Kubota 2601, we went on ahead and uh, made a purchase to get these this kit. Um, we got it off of uh, a YouTuber called Ass Tractor Mike. And uh, we put this on here and then uh, put the uh, plate onto this bucket. Um, and then uh, the thing that's nice about it is the ability to be able to switch between like front end loader, um, pallet forks and stuff like that. Um, like I've told you before, we have, I've got to do a project where I need to put in a uh, diverter so I can put uh, the uh, hydraulics up front so that I can also put the uh, grapple that's on the uh, B2601 onto this one. So that's, that's uh, something I've got to do coming up here. I just haven't done it. Um, but so what I'm doing is I'm taking this bucket off and then I'm putting on the uh, the uh, forks and then the pallet forks and I'm going to move the uh, landscape rake that the pallet forks are in because we're going to have to get into the, the uh, four foot brush hog and inevitably coming down to it, I'm going to take and uh, we've got to wash off the uh, backhoe. And then we're going to unhook the backhoe and put the three-point connection back onto the B2601. So we're going to take the backhoe off the B2601. We'll wash it first, take the backhoe off, and then put the three-point back on the back or on the uh, 20, B2601. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to hook it up to the uh, four-foot box blade, or not the four-foot box blade, the four-foot um, rotary cutter brush hog, whatever you want to call it, slasher, you know, from the UK. And uh, so that uh, since we had that flood and everything, we can't mow across the uh, creek over there. 
and we were mowing all that because they got big we got big rock and everything we'll have to clean it all up now if this flooding would have happened back in the fall we could have got everything cleaned up but since it happened in mowing season we're we're just going to have to brush hog over across the creek is what we're going to have to do this year and uh, try and reclaim that area next year but that's a little rundown of what we're doing so i'm pulling this off and getting the uh the forks hooking up the forks and then moving the uh landscape rake and then i've got to move uh, a friend of ours uh toolbox out of the way in a hurry so that we can um, get the, the uh Backhoe off the uh, B2601. So, yeah, I know I'm long winded, but. Uh... It was your earphone. 
This is where we normally put the RV when it's in storage, but right now we're just going to keep this here until we can get it moved um, to our friends. Keep it protected until we can get it sent over in another two weeks. All right. So, we got those out of the way. Cool. Okay, so since we do a lot of mowing, of course, and uh, we have a bunch of trailers to move, like the uh, pontoon boat over there, we got the trailers out back and stuff. Generally, I'll leave this uh, on the back of the tractor so that I can uh, I use it when I'm pulling, uh, when I'm pick up the, the uh, trailers to move them, it just makes it a lot easier. Whoa, we widened out a little bit. Here we go. All right. Close it, lock it in, close it, lock it in, and uh, no, hats. Quick Connect, do not sponsor anything on this channel. Like I said, our main purpose for this channel is so that uh, our grandkids can eventually, can, uh, if we're not around, they can see us, or if something happens to one of us, then uh, they'll have memories of us. And how-tos. Yep, and well, on uh, the how-tos are how I do it, okay? <laughs> It may in no way be the best way to do it, but that's no, how I do it. No way, best way. And you, get, and you get entertainment out of it, then that's fantastic. So, but okay, so we got that back on the tractor, and uh, it doesn't take ma a matter of minutes to swap it out, which is kind of nice. Before you used to have to sit there and try to get it in the eyelets on the uh, three point, and man, that was a pain in the butt. But we're finished up, so we're good. There you go.